All right, good afternoon, Central Georgia. Thank you so much for joining me. We're coming back to you at 9 a.m. this morning with another Tropics update, kind of kind of break down everything going on with Hurricane Helene and kind of give you a more in-depth forecast of what we're expecting tonight and heading in to tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Max computer full screen so that you guys can get a good idea of what I'm talking about here. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the sky cam going on outside right now so that you can see we're already dealing with some of these outer bands of rain here in central Georgia. There's a look at downtown Macon, very rainy and we've had a lot of rainfall already begin to accumulate here in the area and we're expecting a whole lot more on the way. There's your current satellite and radar shot looking at a whole lot of rainfall right now. Again, this is from those outer bands of rain, so not really seeing the brunt of the wind forces or anything like that. Really just looking at some rain at the moment. That red box that you're seeing there and I can kind of use my pointer to point that out right here on the edge of our viewing area. This is a tornado watch. So the National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued that for areas to our east. As we push later into this afternoon and evening, there's a good chance they could extend that for our viewing area as well. But as of right now, not sitting underneath that watch and kind of going big picture. There is Helene down there in the Gulf right now, still at category two strength, but expected to intensify into a major hurricane by the time it heads towards the Big Bend region and does make landfall. You can see another tornado watch has been issued there for parts of Florida. So really just continuing to watch the strength of this storm in the coming hours. So here's our tropics outline here. Uh, the cone of uncertainty still at category two strength expected to be at three by later this afternoon. So this is rapidly intensifying, but by the time it does make its way towards central Georgia, we're still expecting that to be at category one strength and then make its way through very quickly and pushing its way up towards North Georgia and towards Tennessee by later Friday afternoon. So it will be a quick mover. We're still expecting that it'll make its way through tonight and early morning tomorrow. So here's the future view. Don't get too hung up on this. I'm going to show you a closer view of it in just a second here, but there it makes landfall by later this afternoon and then pushes its way through central Georgia later tonight. So kind of zooming closer into central Georgia this afternoon, still just kind of having these bands of rain. We may have some pockets of thunderstorms and then maybe even a couple stronger thunderstorms as well. Then kind of heading into this evening, that's when things are going to start to pick up a little bit. As we start to head into the overnight hours, that's when we'll begin to see some of these gustier winds. Some of these rain bands become a little bit heavier and a little bit stronger. And then into the overnight hours Thursday, heading into the early morning hours Friday morning, that's when we're expecting the brunt of this force. Still kind of paying attention to where that center of circulation is here. Uh, the National Hurricane Center did kind of trim their cone further to the east, which is what our specific future view has been predicting the entire time, uh, which is positive news for us. Again, the further that that shifts it to the east, the less of our counties are on the eastern side or the dirty side of this storm. So continuing to hope that that remains the same. But again, pushing its way into the overnight hours and then quickly moving on by sometime Friday mid morning and then really not dealing with a whole lot from this storm other than some continued gustier winds into Friday afternoon and then we should be clear heading into Saturday. So we're talking again about that Thursday to Friday morning period. We're really looking at three main impacts. We're talking about heavy rain that can lead to a flood risk, gusty and damaging winds and some spin up tornadoes on the eastern side of this storm. So I'm going to take you impact by impact. We're going to break down each one of these kind of one at a time. And then after this, uh, I'll head to the chat and I will answer all of your questions. So we're going to start with the heavy rain. We are in a flood watch here in central Georgia in all counties from now until Friday morning. So we're expecting we've already had some intense rainfall totals from the rain that we've seen last night into this morning and the uh, Euro model or this is the graph model, excuse me, does expect that we could get even higher rainfall totals after this afternoon and then heading into this morning as well. So right now that projection is somewhere between a total of four to seven inches of rain. We could see more than that and we could see less, but that is the expectation at the moment. We're watching those low lying areas, those bodies of water, and especially I just want to emphasize out on the roads. This is going to be important to pay attention to. Uh, we're watching for a flash flooding risk. We've already had several flash flood warnings issued this morning, so it's definitely just going to be important to pay attention when you're driving. We always emphasize emphasize turn around, don't drown. That's going to be especially important to pay attention to for the rest of today and heading into the overnight hours tonight. Really trying to stay off the roads if you can. That's going to be important. So talking about our next impact, which is these wind speeds, the National Hurricane Center has issued the hurricane watches and warnings 
and we've seen several more counties here in central Georgia be extended into this hurricane warning as opposed to the tropical storm warning. So kind of breaking down the difference between the two of these things. A tropical storm warning means that winds of 39 miles per hour or more are expected in the next 48 hours. A hurricane warning means that wind speeds up to 74 miles per hour or more are expected in the next 48 hours. So they've gone ahead and issued these for all counties in central Georgia. I don't want you to get too honed in on the exact location of hurricane versus tropical storm. We could still see some pretty strong or gusty winds in the tropical storm areas. And then we also could see uh, less strong winds in the areas that are also in the hurricane warnings. But that's the expectation at the moment is to kind of expect these tropical storm force and hurricane force winds heading into tonight and tomorrow morning. Again, that is strong enough to take down tree branches, uh, whole trees, power lines. These are intense winds that we really haven't had to deal with a whole lot here in central Georgia. So kind of taking you out on our future view. Again, this is kind of a little bit different than the exact area of center of circulation that the National Hurricane Center puts us in. So some of these gusts are going to be higher in some areas and lower in some areas that may differ with those watches and warnings. The main takeaway I want you to take away is just we're going to have some really strong winds that are capable of throwing things up in the air. Again, we talk about nailing down your porch furniture, bringing things inside. That's really going to be the main thing to pay attention to. So you can see by Friday in, in the early morning hours, we're seeing gusts maybe even up to 75 miles per hour, uh, maybe even higher than that, a couple uh, 10 to 15 miles higher than that later in the afternoon or later in the early morning hours as well. These are going to be some pretty intense winds again, stronger on the eastern side of that storm. So kind of continuing to just watch where that center of circulation ends up. Then again, by Friday morning, this storm's a quick mover. It moves out. Our wind speeds will start to die down. We'll still have some gustier winds hanging out with us through the afternoon on Friday. But then as we kind of head into Saturday, hopefully all these winds begin to die down. I'm sitting in some much calmer conditions after this storm does make its way out. So that's wind speeds. We've talked about rain, wind speeds, and now we need to talk about our tornado potential as well. So the SBC has outlined us in most counties are in a level one out of five risk. A few counties to our south and east are in that level two out of five risk. And this is really again where we're just watching that center of circulation to see what side we end up on because that is going to determine our tornado potential for the rest of tonight. So this is our future view parameter. It kind of takes into account all the factors that go into making a tornado, the type of energy we have, uh, how much of it we have available, and those darker colors that you're seeing there, that's the more likely potential for tornadoes. Again, with tropical systems, tornadoes are brief and they aren't as strong as, you know, a tornado we would see with a typical line coming through central Georgia. So these will be short lived and not too intense, but a tornado nonetheless. You do still want to take this seriously. Again, it's important to stay updated in the overnight hours or have a way to get updates in case one of these is heading towards your area. But the greatest potential is still on the eastern side of that storm. So we're still kind of watching to see exactly where that ends up. We'll have a we'll be able to nail that down a whole lot better as we head throughout the day today. And this storm does start to make landfall and make its way towards us. We'll be able to nail down those locations a lot better. So kind of the big takeaways here before I move to questions. It's still going to be a category one storm before it moves into central Georgia. Again, the circulation is trending further east, which is actually still good news for us. Again, we, we hope for that because that means less of the counties in our viewing area are on the eastern side of that storm. And we're still just looking at a very large storm with some pretty widespread impacts. It's definitely not something that, you know, you don't want to take seriously. This is still going to be an intense storm, not something that we've really had to deal with very often or just, you know, it's, a, it's going to be an intense storm here in central Georgia. So we do want to make that aware to all of you. There's actions you can take, though, to be prepared for that. It's not too late to take some of these actions. Securing loose items out on your porch, that's going to be important. Uh, you can prepare by having canned food and water in case you lose power, things like that. And especially charging all the devices that you might need now, having a weather radio on you so you can stay updated with us. Things like that, those are all actions that you can still take at the moment to be prepared for this storm. So. That's kind of the forecast that we're expecting now. I'm going to turn to the comments here to see kind of what your questions are uh, and maybe get some of those answered for you. So